What's up guys, Chad CRC here with you back on the channel and sometimes you just have those great FPV weekends. Got the recruit going yesterday a little bit with INAV, finished that off today, auto launch, 5 for 5, working beautifully. <clears throat> watched a few YouTube videos last night and I watched an INAV guy, uh, Pavel, whatever his last name, Chakowsky or whatever, and you know, he's kind of a quirky guy or whatever, and I was watching a video that he did of a test build, a Betaflight 4.0, whatever test build, because they don't refer to it as 4 yet, on his 7 inch Source 1 frame, and I've kind of been watching his videos and seeing his challenges that he's been trying to get smooth video, because a lot of us know 6, 7, 8 inch, it's like kind of hard, and I recently gave up on my 6 inch Epic, sorry Richard, and uh, you know, good for you Charles, because you have it now. And I kind of wish I had it back because I saw that video. I contacted uh, Mark Spatz, UAV Tech. I'm going to put a link to his video in my description that shows you how to go ahead and load up a test build and everything like that and try it out. And I am glad I did because I have setting here on the bench my 5.5 inch Epic 229 that has the 2208 Primos on it and everything. You know, Richard does a great job giving everybody his tunes and all that kind of stuff, you know, but when it comes to like getting the flight controller like perfectly mounted, you know, so you can kind of limit oscillations with the dampeners and I think they use a lot of foam and stuff out there. And you know, he's flying in like warm and sunny California and doesn't have wind to deal with a lot of the times where you know here in Ohio we got changing times but the video the video the battery is still hot on this thing I am still cold from outside trying to fly this before the wind got here if we take a look here real quick uh, at beta flight uh, you can see that uh, we're running 4.0 and if we go into version just to show everybody here real quick you can see that the, we got the Tempest F4 uh, running 4.0 and whatever all this stuff means. I don't know. So, it, I'm not sure how much of this is actually going to translate over into like the new uh, GUI when they build that. But, you know, it's just kind of everything is the same because we're still using Configurator 10.4 to do uh, all of our tuning and stuff. Some stuff you have to go through the CLI if you want to make changes. Mark covers that in a lot of his videos. But just look at these, uh, man, look at these PID values. This is bone stock. I only changed my rate, super rate, and expo. And then I added in some uh, feed forward transition. And in my second uh, flight, I actually just crept up the TPA a little bit and lowered my breakpoint to 1600 and take a look at like the filters here we got you know the new uh, D-term low pass filter that we can play with and again Mark covers all that stuff in his videos um, sometimes I realize his videos can get a little techy for a lot of people but you know if you want to fly on the cutting edge which after this I think you want to you definitely should check him out so as far as the flight goes and everything set up real quick Everything else is the same. I'm using pretty much just a diff or a dump, whatever you want to call it, from uh, from Richard that I had on all my epics. Uh, all the everything in here and the receiver tabs is the same. Modes, GPS, motors, everything in the OSD works just fine. There's nothing that uh, nothing different. All of it works good. I got mine rearranged here a little bit now because I'm running rapid fire. And the uh, rapid fire OSD goes right here. But all of that stuff worked just fine. So now let's not uh, waste any more time here talking. Let's uh, take a look at this flight footage. I shoot everything in GoPro here in uh, flat on the session five, just so I can kind of get a better idea as far as what's going on before I start making any kind of corrections at all. But halfway through the flight, I'll apply a LUT. But this is the this is the second flight after just some slight TPA adjustments and adding a little bit more expo. Uh, I mean, this is bone stock tune. 
stock filtering. I didn't do any changes at all. So there is like amazing room to grow. Unfortunately, the SD card slots on these Tempests are a little wacky. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I've got like one board that does, one that doesn't, and that unfortunately is inside this Epic. But the video pretty much speaks for itself. I am running an ND8 filter which would just get rid of any jello that would be out there but you know we're looking at oscillations and mid throttle issues and you can just hear that i am just cranking on it the the epic sounds with the gem fans you know especially these motors i mean it sounds super loud even you know a hover kind of in front of you and stuff like that and you can definitely usually hear some kind of like uh you know, not like turkey calling, but some kind of like noise or something going on in uh, the motors and stuff when you're flying. But nothing here. I mean, the beta flight just sounds so smooth and just flies so good. And again, this is bone stock everything. All I did was just flash it according to Mark's video. He talks about making some changes and doing that. But I did absolutely nothing. All I did is just went out and fly it and just did it. Yeah. This stuff is legit. So, for the rest of the flight, guys, have any questions, let me know. Definitely give it a try. It's super easy. Talk to you later.